John Titer, an alleged American soldier sent back from the year 2036. He posted on a spate of internet forums in the early 2000s, originally under the name of time travel underscore zero. At the time, Titer's messages caused a stir because they appeared to place him across three separate generations. According to him, he was first sent back to the year 1975 to regain an early IBM 5100 computer. The retro machine was apparently needed to prevent computing problems in the future, a reference that some of Titer's audience took as relating to the year 2038 problem, a predicted Y2K-style computer glitch scheduled to happen two years after Titer's original time. The seeming time traveler explained his appearance at the turn of the century, though, as him simply stopping off on his way home. In his posts, Titer made various references to imminent civil war in America between the years 2004 and 2015, and even to the outbreak of World War III shortly afterwards. Today, we know that that didn't happen. But believers claim there's a ready-made explanation at hand. Crucially, Titer also advocated the many worlds theory of reality as being the correct one. It was something which he suggested was common knowledge by 2036. And it's an important part of the story because it effectively means that any predictions Titer made that didn't come true could be explained away by it. So the theory goes that his reappearance in 2000 could have caused a split in the timeline and fortunately for us, that split meant that war in this world was avoided. In 1901, Charlotte Ann Moberly and Eleanor Jourdain were two academics visiting Paris shortly before they began working together at Oxford University. As part of their trip, they took in the Palace of Versailles, where, while exploring the gardens, they took a wrong turn and became lost. And right about now was when it got weird. Both remembered walking along the outskirts of a wood when they alleged that the world around them subtly changed. The trees reportedly took on an unreal quality, and they came across a variety of unusual characters dressed in old-fashioned clothing. One in particular caught the attention of Moberly. A woman in traditional dress stood on an open lawn, apparently sketching the landscape. Eventually, Moberly and Jourdain found their way back to the palace, and a week later, traded notes on what they both suspected had been a paranormal experience. The main idea was that wherever they had stumbled upon had been haunted, but also that in being there, they had traveled back in time. They would spend the next 10 years gathering more research before publishing under pseudonyms on account of their experience in the 1911 book, An Adventure. Among the most noteworthy claims they made in it were that they believed that they had traveled back to the late 1700s, and also that the sketching woman had been Marie Antoinette. In the time since, the Moberly Jourdain incident has been explained away by others as a number of things, including a shared delusion and an unknowing encounter with a period costume party. Paris to Rome, and more specifically, the Vatican City where there are some serious claims that the church has a secret and ongoing history of dabbling with time travel too. The chronovisor is probably one of the craziest machines ever said to have existed anywhere, anytime. According to those who claim it to be real, it's a bizarre cabinet-like contraption packed with buttons, gadgets, and gizmos, all designed to totally reconstruct our experience of time. A chronovisor user is said to be able to view any past event through the machine thanks to some spectacular technology that can somehow convert electromagnetic radiation into effective backwards time travel, or at least convert it into a window through which you can revisit actual history. Records mostly come from a one Father Francois Brune, a Catholic priest who wrote about the chronovisor in his 2002 book, The New Mystery of the Vatican. Broadly speaking, Brune claims that the device was built by another priest named Pellegrino Ernetti, and allegedly with the help of many of the world's leading scientists in the 20th century, including Enrico Fermi, today famed for the Fermi Paradox. Father Ernetti is then said to have used the chronovisor to go back in time to observe the actual crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And while Ernetti's claims have been continually challenged, and even he himself reportedly admitted making them up, 
proponents to the Chronovisor's existence insist that it's real. And now that after Airnetti was allegedly forced into casting doubt over it, the machine is today used in secret by a global elite to control world governments. Of course, if it does exist, then it's something unlike anything else ever built on Earth. A little more grounded, but strange all the same. And this time, we're headed for the UK. The city of Liverpool is famous for many things. The Cavern Club, the Beatles, Anfield. But did you know there's also a real-life time warp there, allegedly? Most of the reported stories center around Bold Street, an area full of shops and shoppers. And while most of the time you can stroll around this part of town and stay firmly in the here and now, there have been some occasions when people have reported suddenly being transported back to a bygone era. The most famous case involves a former policeman who was out shopping in the year 1996. His wife went to a nearby bookstore while he went to pass time elsewhere. But then, when he went back to meet up with his wife again, he was confused to find that the bookstore wasn't there. In its place was a clothes shop, and it didn't turn back into a bookstore until he stepped through the door. Thankfully, husband and wife were swiftly reunited, and nobody was lost in time forever. But when the former policeman came to realize that the same building had been a clothes shop decades beforehand in the 1960s, that's when this particular tale took on a whole new meaning. It was as though he had been briefly transported back in time and given a glimpse of history. In a similar way to how Charlotte Ann Moberly and Eleanor Jourdain felt after their experience in Paris. Both Liverpool and Paris are fine European cities. Where Watch. Let's start weird. In 2008, there was mass reporting that during a Chinese archaeological expedition, a 400-year-old tomb of Si King from the Ming Dynasty, which, as most people will know, was an absolute lad of a dynasty, Hongwu Emperor, hashtag squad goals. Inside this believed to be undisturbed house of dirt and dead fellas, the archaeologists found something very strange. A tiny gold watch. Time frozen at 6 past 10 with the word Swiss engraved on the back. The story circulated the net like wildfire, many taking it as proof that time travellers visited us hundreds of years ago, which makes it all the more of a shame that the photos that sparked the story in the first place were digitally created hoaxes. Time slip. While Mobley and Jourdain accidentally stumbled into the past, Victor Goddard flew into the future. Like the time-travelling ladies, Goddard was a smart cookie, flying planes for the RAF in World War I and World War II, reading engineering at Cambridge and becoming Director of Intelligence at the Air Ministry. So a reliable mind then. Well, does that perception change when we tell you that he firmly believed all his life that in 1935 he briefly flew into the future? Yep, in a plane. So it's 1935 and Goddard left Drem Airfield near Edinburgh to fly home. Then he ran into trouble with the weather and lost his bearings, so he decided to fly back to Drem and start again fresh. As he approached the airfield this time, the rain around him turned into a bright sunny day and below him he saw a newly renovated airfield complete with men rushing around in blue uniforms that he'd never seen before and a bunch of planes painted yellow. He flew away without landing and four years later the Air Force changed all their uniforms to blue and began painting their planes yellow. A moment of clairvoyance from Goddard or, like the ladies before him, him a brief stumble into a different time, or a stroke, also possible.